What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to your Thursday roundup. So this is all you need to know and hopefully we can get everything cleared here because there's a bit of information to go through, a couple of new players as well to go through uh, that we haven't had out before. Uh, and we'll also cover kind of all the events and stuff, right? So the first thing is obviously for anybody wondering, yes, eFootball 2024 is coming soon and they are going to be uh, having a special login present, right? So... Epic Worldwide Clubs by one. Everybody is going to get a chance at spinning. It says that we were given out in anticipation to start eFootball24. We are giving out one chance deal every day for Epic Worldwide Clubs. A special player. Strengthen your squad with the chance deal and get ready for eFootball, right? So it says here that all they have to do is, is a special login bonus and that they're going to be giving out one of these uh, free spins from the 24th, which is today. So you'll have got your first one today until the 4th of the ninth, That's when the maintenance kicks in. So it's going to be an epic worldwide club, but there is going to be a box. It's going to be within a box. Uh, you're not going to be just getting... From what it reads here, it seems like there's going to be 11 days where you get a chance to spin one of these special login presents. Now, um, it, says, it doesn't say how many is going to be in the box. Uh, it just says that you can only obtain each login present once per day, and it'll be kept in your inbox until you receive them, right? So all you have to do is log in, okay? So the second thing is... Um, when we actually go into the official website, okay, over here, and it's also in game, but it's just easier to see here, they talk about and give an update on the large scale maintenance, okay? So large scale maintenance we knew was already happening on the 4th of September, but now we know when eFootball24 is actually going to be dropping, right? So it says here that the, the period for the maintenance is going to be the 4th of the 9th. To the seventh of the ninth, okay. So it's going to be three day maintenance, as I kind of predicted, and as I said in the last couple of videos that I've been talking about. It makes sense for them to drop it on Thursday. I know people were saying there'd be no downtime. I know people were saying it would be a week, and I was like, no, it's going to be Thursday. It just makes everything make sense for it to be on the seventh of the ninth. Start fresh, and then you can kind of go in with everything, right? So this just says that there will be service will resume sequentially by area. That's obviously just the normal, you know, whenever your time zones and all that, right? So, we now know officially eFootball 2024 is coming and dropping on the 7th of the 9th. That, that is when uh, all the services will be back online. That is when the new players will be coming, the new club packs will be coming, you'd imagine. And any new events, any new modes, anything like that within Dream Team, right? I'm not expecting anything standalone modes, but we'll get into that in another video, okay? Um, they also talk about as well something to highlight here is a server disconnection. So a lot of a lot of a lot of you guys were saying that there was being issues with the servers. That not only were you actually struggling with the servers for connection, that it was laggy and whatever, but that there was also disconnect. So this seems to be it, this seems to be fixed since three days ago. Uh, I can confirm with a few people that it has been better, and I can genuinely say that. I think the servers are really, really good at the moment in terms of depending on what time of day you play. You know, I've played on a Thursday and it's usually bad for me on a Thursday. Um, but then I played last Monday and it was one of my smoothest ones. So hopefully this is a huge, huge area. I will be doing a video on this about the server and the connection and stuff and just how showing you how different the gameplay feels when you have a bad server, right? But anyway, right, back to today, um, we also have a couple of other things going on here as well. So in the authentic match, we don't have anything. That is still the exact same thing. Could not retrieve. There's nothing going on there. But I'll just quickly go through this, right? So we also have the events today. This is not going to change too much, lads, until eFootball24 comes out. You've got your AI match where you get your worldwide spin. You've got your J-League where you get your skill trainers. You've got your unlimited where you get, get your coins. And you've got your J-League where you get your coins. So there's nothing new here. This has been the way it's been for the last, you know, since launch effectively, right? Football League, that is going to be continuing on but it has uh res it is going to be resetting on monday so this is the first time that the phase is going to end on a monday in terms of that it hasn't been the full month that the phase has ended within the month um this needs big change lads but we'll get into that in a different video because you know i just run out of time to play it man i just run out of time um other than that i know people will ask so there is in the eFootball point shop i know a lot of people have a lot of points in there i reckon that they will bring a lot of um cards into this right so if you see here even these two guys are going to be gone in 41 days right and Perez is 83 days so I reckon they'll fill this out um quite soon that there might even be packs in there or something like that but other than that we just have the coin or we have the agents right so um the contracts here 
We've actually got three new Bayern Munich players that have got a big time. We've got a big time centre back. We've got Elber and we've got Demichelis. Look, it's a pretty weak pack. Obviously, we'll take a look at these training guides. This guy looks like a monstrosity of a player. Uh, Augen Talar. He looks like a beast, lads. He's got blocker. He's got weighted pass. He's got low lofted pass. People are sleeping on low lofted pass, lads. I will kind of try and do a video on it. Uh, I have video scheduled for the next... 10 days uh, or seven to eight days um so i have a lot of stuff coming for efootball 2024 as we you know grind up there um but this guy looks like a monster that's 10 levels into him apart from his defensive awareness we will do a quick guide on him um but he does look like an absolute beast and then of course we also have the worldwide uh player of the weeks back now the thing about this is there's going to be a lot of unique players in this um but they are are all on a form we get our first harry kane that's a deep line forward for Bayern munich i I wish he was goal poacher. I think that they will change it for the new season. Very, very good card. We'll get through that as well. Um, but you can see all the rest of them there, including De Lorenzo, who's had a load of cards. Nico Williams has had multiple cards. Uh, Frank De Jong, he actually has aerial superiority and he's down as a centre back. And I know, listen, I, I, I kind of slept on De Ligt for a while and people are telling me that I'm sleeping on De Jong as well. This De Long card... De Jong card looks absolutely unbelievable, absolutely insane. To have a centre back that has aerial superiority, one touch pass, double touch, just adds a little bit something with that really high tackling and defensive awareness. It's it's a really, really good card, um, but we will get into that again at a future date. So that is kind of it, lads. If I missed anything, apologies, but that is pretty much everything on display for this week, you've got your same same events. We've got a bit more news on that. They also talk about um, losing a couple of licenses here as well. Um, and they also talk about this special edition of Messi as well. The Messi card has been given out as a special login present between the 20th of the 7th after until the until that date. Um, it's just directly into your inbox now. So if you've missed that, people are going to be getting it. And trust me, lads, watch a video I did on that Messi. Do, do not sleep on that Messi. I'm telling you, he's, he is eating different different gravy with his dinner i'm telling you that but they also talk about losing a couple of the brazilian licenses we'll get into that in a future video lads um but they said that they are it can only be signed we are planning to revert these changes and introduce authentic license data once again be an update in early october so again we have different dates and that makes sense right um that they're probably going to be updating the game with large-scale maintenance but then they're probably going to have new licenses and kits and all that sort of stuff rolling out for the next couple of weeks um they'll have all the transfers and all that done but when eFootball 24 launches they'll probably have that uh coming out so that is it for me lads i will be back later on with another video hope you enjoyed this little roundup and uh let me know if you're looking forward to eFootball 2024